Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on early pregnancy bleeding. Early pregnancy bleeding is defined as provaginal bleeding before 22 weeks of pregnancy. For any woman of reproductive age presenting with vaginal bleeding or abdominal pain, we must always remember to rule out ectopic pregnancy. Take the history of the patient. Quantify the blood loss by asking whether it is only spotting bleed or large amount of blood. How many pads did they change? And is there any blood clot? Any abdominal pain? Any passing out of product of conception? Any trauma to the abdomen or perineum that might have caused provaginal bleeding? For physical examination, general exam, is the patient pale? How are the vital signs? Pulse volume? For abdomen examination, the uterus size, any tenderness, any guarding, any rebound tenderness? Speculum examination, any active bleeding, OS open or closed, any cervical mass, any product of conception? For vaginal examination, any cervical excitation, any adnexal mass or tenderness? Next we proceed to investigation. Do a urine pregnancy test to confirm whether the patient is pregnant or not. Do full blood count to check the hemoglobin level and platelets. Next, also do a transabdominal or transvaginal ultrasound. The possible causes of early pregnancy bleeding are ectopic pregnancy, miscarriage, molar pregnancy, pregnancy of unknown location, or local causes like trauma or tumor. This is a simplified flowchart of the management of a case of early pregnancy bleeding. When a woman at reproductive age presents with PV bleed or abdominal pain. If stable condition, do urine pregnancy test stat. If not stable, call for help immediately for immediate resuscitation. If UPT came out positive, do transabdominal or transvaginal ultrasound to look for presence of intrauterine gestational sac. Look for the yolk sac or embryo to confirm it is a gestational sac. If not, it can be a pseudosac. If there is intrauterine gestational sac, we need to rule out the different types of miscarriage. If there is no intrauterine gestational sac seen, look for adnexal mass or significant free fluid. If there is, think of ectopic pregnancy. If not, we think of pregnancy of unknown location. Another condition is we might see an intrauterine multicystic appearance, which we have to think of molar pregnancy. That's all for this video. Thank you.